Hey guys, JCC2224 bringing you my very first Batman Arkham City review. And if you remember my previous video, I was talking about how I couldn't get a Robin because he was too expensive. Well, well, guess what? I was able to find a Robin for a very good price. And, um, yeah, this thing is awesome. Uh, really, I have not found a figure that disappoints me greatly in this line yet. Um, I really don't think there will be any except for maybe Mad Hatter and Zazz. But I'm not even sure if I'll get those. So, um, before we get into this figure, I do want to announce... That, um, what was I going to announce? Oh, yeah, the fact that, um, I really don't have the packaging here. Because I think you all know what the packaging is. I kind of beat it to hell when I was trying to open it. Uh, the post office beat it to hell. And, well, we're just here to look at this toy. Um, so, uh, my, I only really have, uh, two complaints about this. And they're kind of similar to my Catwoman. Um, but, except one is actually rather different. Uh, but first off, um, let's talk about all the accessories, and then I'll get into the complaints. Uh, he comes with two main accessories. He has this black disc of basage, as many people refer to it as. I'm not sure if many people refer to it as the black disc of basage, but I certainly do. Yeah, it's just a black disc. It's nothing special. Um, you can see how it says DC Comics on the bottom. This fits any NECA or 6-inch figures, at least with the Movie Masters and the Predator. Um, it is a really good base. Unfortunately, they're not packed in with Arkham City Series 2 through 4. And I think the reason behind that is because, you can see right there, it says DCD, which means DC Direct. And because they changed it to Collectibles, I assume they just really were lazy. Like, ah, uh, we can just scrap this base, no, like, no one likes it anyway. But I did. Um, and the other accessory is another blank, black thing of nothing. Um, yeah, you get a base that's nothing but black, and you get this staff, which is nothing but black. This thing is a huge disappointment. Look at this. This is all it is. Just a black stick. Really, I, it, It's just a black stick. That is literally all it is. It has no paint application. It has no molding. It is just a black stick. It's... Uh, uh, and no words really describe why all he comes with is a black stick. I mean, it would have been cool if it came with, like, a little, you know, bullet shield clip on or something, but, I mean, a black stick? That's, eh, that's lame. Um, my other complaint was the hand that he holds it in. Uh, as you can see, it is, uh, formed specifically for this black stick, but I actually had to alter this figure, like I had to alter my Catwoman, um, to actually get him to hold it. I had to take a screwdriver, and I had to puncture it through his hand. No, it got rid of all the excess plastic and such, and I just saw the plastic, just all the flush plastic, just on the on the screwdriver. Um, you can even kind of see in there well, where I did have to put the screwdriver in. Um, it, it's it, it, yeah, <laughs> but it's it, in the end he can he can still hold it. It goes in smoothly, but you really got to be careful with this. You do not want to push it in at the tip. You want to push it in right where his hand is, or else this thing's gonna break. I mean, it, it's gonna break if you're not careful with it. Uh, now onto the figure itself. This thing is actually really impressive. Um, the detail is really nice, I do have to say. First, taking a look at the head here. Um, I really do like how uh, they actually made Robin look in the movie. Not the movie, damn it. The, <laughs> the game. Um, Arkham City shouldn't have been a movie, though. I mean, <laughs> honestly, I think Arkham Asylum and City is better than the Nolan films. Don't, don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me. That's uh, not all. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, it, he has a hood there, and it's actually permanently attached to the head, um, so it can actually rotate with his head, too. Um, one thing I actually didn't know is that, as you can see, he just kind of has this light brown uh, crew cut um, for his hair. I was expecting uh, Tim Drake to have more of a black kind of hair, but, you know, can't get it all. <laughs> and really, I have no other complaints with the costume design whatsoever. Um, his uh, chest looks really nice. I still don't know why he has that random R there, though. It's like, hey, look at me, I'm Robin, 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 woo! <laughs> oh, goodness, I, I see him doing that at some point in his life. Um, he, he does have some really nice detail all along his body armor. His gauntlets, too. I like how they're still kind of, you know, reminiscent of the green gauntlets he typically has. 
Uh, really like the yellow inside the cape. Um, his pants too. Really do like the look of the pants and the fact that he still has green boots uh, covered by uh, body armor, which is dinged up and bruised, which is really nice. Um, I do have to say, owning five Arkham figures so far, I am decently impressed with the uh, kind of quality that DC Direct slash Collectibles goes for with these toys. I mean, the articulation ain't perfect on some of these, but it, 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 the articulations give the details spot on. I mean, I, I don't have a lot of complaints with these. Um, but I always have like one or two complaints with every figure, unfortunately. Um, now onto articulation. He has a bald jointed neck, but it's mostly just a side to side. You do get a sliver of up and down. It's not too much. Uh, but I do like that the hood goes with his, um, goes with his head. Uh, he has a nice bald jointed shoulder. It doesn't go up too high because of this cape, but it's actually not because of the cape. It's because of how the shoulder joint is made. Um... So I don't know why people say, oh, the cape hinders the shoulder articulation. It's a, it's a shoulder articulation that hinders itself, people. Um, uh, he has a bicep swivel, and he has an elbow joint, which really doesn't go as far as I'd like it to. Um, he has a swivel at the wrist here. Um, he has no waist joint, which I really want to like that. Um, he has a swivel at the hips. He has a hinge at the knee, and he has a swivel at the ankle. It's it's certainly um, not the worst articulation I've seen on these Arkham figures so far. Probably the worst is on, um, I'm trying to think here, probably Harley Quinn or something, or Cat Catwoman. Catwoman, her articulation is not too great. Especially for Catwoman, you know, she really shouldn't have had, like, a ball-jointed hips or something, so she can actually have no ground take down thugs or something. Um, but really, you can't get this guy in a lot of cool poses. And you can get him, uh, I'm not going to plug it in his hand, but you can plug it in his hand. You can get him in the his, kind of his Arkham City signature. Oh, look at me, I'm holding my stick with two hands. Um, I wish he could move his head down more so he could just kind of like look at the ground. That would have been really cool, but you can't, you can't ask for it all. Um, really isn't that much to talk about. Uh, this is made out of a softer plastic, and he does have nice detailing on his back. Um, other than that, I really don't see, um, anything else to really talk about with this guy. Uh, do I recommend him? Uh, for the prices it's going for, you know, the 40 50 no. I don't recommend it for that much. But I do, however, recommend it for 20 or so, uh, the retail price for these figures, if you can find it for that price. I was blessed by the gods, and I found it for 10 bucks. <laughs> so, um... Uh, yeah, you, you, you want to look around for, um, these kind of collectible figures, especially ones like NECA and, um, DC Direct, Marvel Select, all that. You really want to look around, and thankfully, looking around got me some pretty cheap prices on a lot of these guys. Um, the ones I didn't buy in, like, Hastings or, uh, comic shops. So, so I really guess that is it with this video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at, uh, Arkham City Robin with me. Uh, by the way, this is Tim Drake. I think I mentioned that. Um, more Arkham City reviews coming in the near future. Um, I'm currently redoing a lot of my displays, and yet again, my room is a mess due to it. So, there ain't gonna be that much going on, and like I mentioned in my last video, I have something planned. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, so that's it, guys. Have a good day, and, um... Dang it, what to say for Batman, because I'm gonna be doing a lot of these now. I better think of it. Hmm. I'm not gonna do it, I'm Uh... I don't know. I really don't know. Freeze well, stay cool, bird boy. I, <laughs> I don't know. And I bumped into the camera. I don't know what to say. I'll think of it by the next video, so don't worry. For now, bye guys. I'll catch you later.